All right, so this is the latest one. Um, the beginning is short. I'm not sure what happened there, um, but I got another version that's longer. So this is the latest in terms of the animation. There's some sound there, a sound effects reference, which I turned off just for this review. And that it's a bit long at the end too. So what I've done now, I have taken the this scene here and on a camera pass. So you gave me the scene <clears throat> and you can see that the camera is just a bit looser. There's been some reframing towards Dozer, the creature there. There's some reframing to follow. There's some hiccupy playback there, but you can see that some of the translates are out and it's a bit more focused. So again, full screen here. So I took the animation that you gave me uh, in your Maya scene, which had no textures. That's just how it came in. Um, I just changed change some stuff here in terms of colors, um, change some of the set pieces around a little bit for some foreground interest, change the camera a bit. And that's kind of, and also shorter. So the main thing is that, I mean, you're going to have uh, a creature here and then, you know, pieces hanging for those that are watching this. That's just not there quite yet, but overall just a bit, a tiny bit of handle, just so it's not so stiff. And then as this creature comes in and this creature takes a step this way, you can see that I am not that interested here anymore, and I'm kind of reframing to show this creature coming in. And I'm kind of following a little bit Has the, the camera goes up and to the right a tiny bit, but it's mostly going up here. So I want to keep that looseness across the cut here, kind of reframing. So we're just kind of staying with the head. And then on that jump, I did a little bit of tilt, pan and tilt to the right, upper right here. And you can see across the cut, the the camera kind of continues that way. So it's just a bit of more of a fluid move across the cut. Bit of a camera shake here, just a tiny bit. Following a bit more lower and to the right, so you can see the that moment here. And then the camera continues the move to the right across the cut, so that, again, the motion is just a bit smoother. And you had a big uh, translate rotate going around, and I took <clears throat> all of that out so that it's just a bit of a translate just a little bit for some parallax but it's mostly reframing rotationally in here um, and then like i said just some pieces here and there like foreground elements which is totally just being like, absolutely take that out and don't do that i just like putting that stuff in there and giving the set pieces it was kind of interesting to see what kind of shadowing uh we will get obviously again this is totally up to you i just wanted to put something in there I can't help myself. It's just fun to do. <laughs> but that's the idea uh, for the camera. Again, you don't have to do that. It's just kind of a template and you can do whatever you want as always, of course. Now, animation wise, I think this is a lot better. There's some really cool stuff in there. I think these guys are still a tiny bit floaty as they kind of follow the body. They could just be a bit uh, for instance, that move here, it's just very floaty and spliny. And I'm thinking in terms of it's it's pulling and it's gnawing and it's chewing. There's a bit more tension in the body and you could just keep these guys just a bit closer together and just a bit more just sharper in their movements. Especially if you watch this one at the end here. Just all that slow stuff is just a bit too spliny and even. Uh, and every now and then, be careful how you sync up these three. They're kind of too synced up there. But that's kind of how I would reframe it and then just kind of continuing some more chomping moves here. Not too much. It just seems a bit simple in just that rotation job, the way uh, this rotates here. But then Dozer coming up. There's something where it feels like it's just kind of translating. Mainly because I'm looking at the shapes here that are not quite moving. And now I see shoulders and elbows moving. So watch out that through here, it's it's actually not cheated and it's taking steps. So it all seems a bit the same until here. I do like this though. I do like those last steps. Especially how forceful this is, which I will replicate here as well. And then as you get into it, putting the, rotating the fingers down, the thumb splaying out so the thumb is a bit more curled in and making sure that it's not too IK in terms of the wrist so I can see that the rotation is the same while stuff is happening here there's no compensation or adjustment in that wrist so play a bit with the fingers 
here compression spreading out a bit more tightening of the of the fingers so it doesn't feel so soft it's kind of easing in as well as you plant here but the side to side is cool here just be careful that on something like this the head feels not that it's static i mean it is moving but there's so much movement here which i like but it's not really affecting the head in terms of rotation feels like you want some rotation this way on the head as well this is cool i like this a lot especially this here the step with the step watch out that the hand doesn't just go up straight and then back down straight almost to the same spot so you gotta have some peel off rotation sideways rotation changes in the in the fingers on those steps and if there's a is there's a push this way that ankle will kind of move this way a bit just to feel um you know the force like that but as a whole and the same thing for here fingers and just stuff like that feels a bit flat as it does this and especially as it lifts this now there's no weight on here all the weight's going to be on here and because it's over the edge that body would drop a bit as well and then with this just right through there it feels a bit strange as it goes back pretty straight and there's no real adjustment in the chest and the shoulder now that all the weight is here and for our for the balance we'd almost want to translate towards us over this arm just to stay balanced but that being said i like that little and then with the head there it'll shake and an adjustment there that's cool when you do this make sure that it doesn't feel like this is one piece going down so break up between chest and head it will be a bit cooler same thing here as you start i will probably start rotating the head first so it's not just one piece, it's a bit of more of a lead. So I would kind of, I'd probably bring up that head more. So it's actually pointing up this way. I think that jump is pretty good. It felt a bit, let's see. Almost like you could accelerate a couple of frames right through there. Yeah, it just seems right through here-ish. It starts to be a bit even. Yeah, there's some funky right there. Just a bit, it needs to continue to accelerate as it drops. It's subtle though. Yeah, it's just, uh, just a bit subtle. But it's there. Impact's cool, I really like this. Bam! I love the, the drag on the head. Fa Boom! The whip action. Love this. Just watch out for intersections, but technically I love how you got, you know, that look. Uh, take it and it holds on and pushes down. It's very cool. And then you're talking about uh, the rough nature of this animation-wise. Totally agree. And you weren't quite sure what to do. I think all I would do here is just clawing, messy clawing, holding on, gripping, clawing, biting. Mostly that until this happens. Now, this is a bit of a convenience that the thing that those it doesn't quite move. So you can still potentially, you know, the arm is still there. So if dinosaur moves you can still have that arm here and then the head still be here and it kind of takes the body with it a bit more because i know you want him to land here but i'm sure you can futz that around a bit the bit of a sideways so that you know the body the head is a bit more or the whole body is a bit more three-quarter towards us so then when you do this that's cool but it can be a bit messier where it's not just in one axis back but a bit three-quarter i think that should be doable with a slight potential cheat in there. Uh, Speed-wise, it felt a bit fast. Right there. That much force. It would. It feels like it's pretty fast through here and it suddenly slows down and goes down pretty quickly. So it would be more... And right now, it feels more like it's doing this. So watch out for that. The back part is cool, though. And, you know, shoulder stuff. This is a little rough with those steps. But it's cool. I think the idea is still really neat. That's about it. Yeah. So let me know. Let me know what you think. I'm going to email you the Maya file. So you can kind of take a look at what I did. I put in my own camera stack. Uh, so you can see kind of what I did animation wise. Uh, yeah. That's it. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.